So what do you do with when your generator doesn't start? Okay, so first you check if there's gas in the tank, right? So this thing shows like three quarter full. And you can do a visual, visual check if there's anything in it, but this here looks great. Here, the yellow plug, that's where we check the oil. Now, some of those engines have a shut-off valve. So if the oil is too low, it won't start, or it turns off after the oil reaches a certain level. So in here, there's oil in it. It's hard to see in the camera, but that should not be the problem. Here, this here is the sensor for the for the low oil shut off. So next thing we check the valve, if the valve is open. So here on, this is open. And sure enough we have to choke the engine to start it. There. The ignition has to be turned on, sure. Now let's try this. <coughs> so, we don't hear any ignition there. It just blubbers. So first we have to find the fuel valve, where the fuel comes out of the tank, and then the air filter, and because this is the easiest, we open this thing up and see if there's anything clogging the air going into the motor. So we will find an air filter in here and see if there's anything out of the ordinary wrong. So, while we take this apart, we for sure memorize uh, how we take it apart so that we put the part back together in the right spot, in the right order. Okay, so let's check if the choke works. So when you pull the lever, the choke lever, then the little door here has to close and that seems to work pretty well. So we take the gas line off for a moment to see if the gas valve lets gas through it. And so what I'm going to do is I replace the, the black line here with the transparent line so I can see if gas is floating through it. And uh, on the other end I have a gas tank, another gas tank, where I can drain the gas to. And therefore I check if the valve opens and closes. In this case it really does work and gas is going through the line. So when I'm done with this test then I reconnect the gas line again. To make this easier now and easier to see, I'm going to remove the air filter housing so then the carburetor comes off and we can look into the carburetor easier. This is only two screws in this case. And when we remove this, we have to make sure that we don't lose those little brass bushings and the rubber gasket here. And now the carburetor is loose and we can pull this thing off after we remove the gas line from it and um, the thing is on there for a long time so it's a little more difficult to get off and the uh, assembly here for the throttle we have to remove too there's a little spring in there so all this goes off and then we can remove the carburetor 
And on the back there we have a gasket again. <coughs> and the best thing is to leave this on. Um, if you try to peel it off, as you can see here, it rips and this will get only ugly. So just leave it on there. And now we look inside this thing. So we just open the screw here on the bottom. That's where we can drain the gas out of the carburetor. And we can check the rubber seal in it. And we're looking for debris and stuff. So dirt, metal pieces, whatever. So it shouldn't be in the gas tank, but if it sucks it in, then it will be there too. Then we look here into those jets. And also there is no dirt in there, so we need to make sure that they are very clean and clear and that air and gas can go through those holes. Um, in my case, I'm going to use compressed air to make sure there is nothing in it, and we blow that thing out a little bit. If you don't have a compressor, you can buy in the store a little bottle with uh, compressed air in it. Like uh, You don't need much in this case to clean a little uh, carburetor here for the small engine. Depending how often you do it, like a little gas bottle will do too. Okay, we are putting this thing back to real quickly, and I think I'm going to switch here in fast forward mode, like to speed this up a little because this will be boring, I guess. So you put it back together how you took it apart the same way. Okay, so, yep. Okay, so now let's try this. Um, ignition on, fuel line open, and then we need to pull here. What do I forget here? Choke. There we go. Head on. Nice. Wonderful. let the gas out to drain the gas out of the gas tank here if we don't use it for a longer period and also always do a good oil change here on especially on those small engines um, it's really helpful <laughs> 